With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends. So our question is, assertion for this question is given as, Kirchhoff current law is applicable at any junction or node in the circuit. And reason behind this says that Kirchhoff law are general in nature. So friends, according to Kirchhoff current law, that is KCL, we say that net current entering the junction should be equals to net current going out from the junction or else we can say that sigma i in the junction should be equals to zero, that is net, net current in the junction should be equals to zero and this is based on conservation of charge, conservation of charge. As we have read that the charge can neither be created nor be destroyed. So, if in a junction a uh, charge Q is entered, so the net charge passing through the junction should be equal to Q. And hence, we can say that it can be applied for for any node or junction. Node or junction. Now, friends, in reason it says that Kirchhoff's law are general in nature. So this one is also true and assertion is proved to be true and reason is also true this is because KCL is based on conservation of charges and Kirchhoff's second law that is Kirchhoff's voltage law or we say in short form it KVL and it is based on conservation of energy. So it's based on conservation conservation of energy. That is, if we start from any point of the conductor and come back to the same point, so the summation of the potential difference across each element should be equal to zero. That is, for a single point, the energy is same. So, work done in the whole process is zero. So, we can say that these laws are based on the general principle that is conservation of charge and conservation of energy. So, Kirchhoff's law are general in nature. The reason behind this is also true and the assertion is also proved to be true. Also friends, as these both are not related to each other, hence we can say that the option 2 is the correct one. That is, both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion. Thank you friends. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.